one of the one of the great seasons in uh, Missouri State men's soccer history, if not the greatest. Um, just uh, for it to come to an end, disappointing loss today, but uh, just kind of put into words uh, uh, what kind of this season meant to you guys and being able to play and getting this far. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it was a, a culmination of, of guys working hard and, you know, we've been building something for for years and long before I got here and, you know, going back to the NCAA tournament in 2019 um, and then this year, you know, winning the conference, winning the conference tournament um, and then making it to the Sweet 16. It's something we haven't had time to reflect on, um, but it, it was a, a pretty special pretty special year in that regard. You bring up the culmination of everything just kind of coming uh, to this point. Just, just what, how, what was it that everything added up for you guys to be able to go on this uh, special run? Um, well, it, it, it really is nothing, nothing special, I think, leads to this run. It's, it's, you know, everyone on our team coming into work every day. The, the coach is drawing up a great a plan for us to improve. Um, and it's, it's just do, trying to you know, stick with what we know and doing our jobs in training. And then when you get to the game, it, it's, it's everything that you've trained for. And Josh, uh, just on today, it seemed like you guys had some good chances there, but uh, um, just kind of what would you see that uh, just kind of didn't, didn't let you guys get in, uh, get one to go through? Yeah, I mean, I thought we I thought we dominated most of the first half. We had really good runs of play. They were pretty much pinned in the whole half, and then we just didn't take advantage of those those spells that we had when we had them. Uh, I think we had a penalty in the first half, didn't give it, so we had to get on with it, create more chances. But we just that final little bit of quality we didn't have today. And this run for you guys, um, just uh, to be able to win. Uh, uh, to uh, win a game in the second round, go further than uh, any team's ever come before. Um, just kind of how how cool was that and just to make this history for Missouri State men's soccer? Yeah, it's, it's always good. And we're always looking to do better every time we play a new season. Uh, I think it's just going to be disappointing because I thought we were we were the better team today. And we, you know, we're really looking to go further in this tournament than what we did today. And that's what's going to disappoint the boys today. But Looking back, when we when we get back and look at the season, it'll be it's a good season to look at. And, and you guys are hanging around. Uh, I mean, top ten ranking all year, uh, being able to win the conference, and we, we've heard Coach Leamy uh, talk a little bit about how uh, just want to establish. You guys want to establish yourselves as a top ten program, one of the best in the nation. Um, and you guys were able to take another step towards uh, kind of a little more consistency this year. Um, just, just uh, what did that? Uh, uh, just how do you? How have you seen this grow into uh, being that dominant program that you guys hope to be? I mean, I've seen it from my freshman year. You know, we, my freshman year we were winning, winning the valley when we weren't quite at the level that we are now. And I think the team just got better every year. We've got guys who are really willing to buy into what we're trying to do in the team. And we've got talented freshmen coming in, and that always helps. You know, we've got strong players in every position. If we do our things right, we should be winning that conference every year. I'm pushing for, for this tournament. This is the one we, we should be looking at now. Not We take care of the other ones, and we look onto this one now. You guys are both seniors, and uh, you guys get that extra year of eligibility. Are you, do you guys both plan on using that? That is the plan. Yeah. And to, and to be able to do that, I mean, just to, just another year to be able to come back to this and uh, you guys have your sights on winning it all. Um, just how much does that mean to you guys to, to be able to do that, uh, just to have that opportunity? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it means it's going to be a, a quick turnaround. So, you know, whether guys are going home or not, you know, a couple of weeks, give yourself a, a mental break. But I know some guys will be, um, you know, ready to get get back on it, get back to you know in summer training, um, and then and then gear up because you know it's uh, we're incredibly fortunate we don't have to wait a year to uh, to uh, avenge this loss. You know, we'll, we'll have games coming in August, so that's it's the quickest tournament we've ever had, and I know I'm excited for that. I can't wait to get back.
get back to playing and the shorter the break the better it's always fun hearing how hungry you guys are to just kind of get back at it and uh, uh just the just the mentality and I, all of you talk this way just uh, how, how is that kind of within the team i think it's, it's we think of ourselves as like professionals you know we want everyone wants to play after this so we have the attitude while we're here that we would be a professional you know so that's that's the mindset we have as a team. And I think that's why we have so much success. Hey, uh, you guys just uh, late getting to the party here. Just talk a little bit about the match today. Tough first half. And then um, just talk about the match. Um, yeah, well, I thought we, uh, we, we started strong, um, like we did against Maryland. We were, we were in their half creating chance. I'm thinking back in my head, uh, a couple of looks like the, the one that, that could have been a, a penalty. Um, you know, we had some, you know, decent combinations. We're in and around their box, which is, you know, where we're trying to be. And, um, and I mean, it's, it really is a game of, of taking your chances and limiting them. If they get, they get a couple looks and they bury them. I mean, that's, that's the game. So just, just being a little bit more ruthless in that end and then a little bit more, um, you know, disciplined and focused on our end to, to block those crosses, shots, you know, do all those things. And just how proud are you guys to have gotten this far, uh, the best season ever for Missouri State soccer? Yes, yeah, it's, it's massive for the program. All the boys are happy with it. Uh, like I said before, it's just a bit disappointing right now when we look at it because we think we could have gone further. But all in all, you know, we only – we had a good run, and it's uh, it's another history-making season. So we build on it, and we go even further next year or later this year. Questions for uh, uh, Coach Siebel. Coach, uh, just a uh, historic season for you guys uh, coming to an end. I uh, know it wasn't the result you wanted today, but uh, uh, just kind of uh, can you put into words just uh, how great the season was and uh, has to be the – probably has to be one of the best, if not the best uh, season in the program's history. I think it's just a great, great showing from the players, uh, staying committed uh, from, from August and even last summer. A lot of guys were here in the summer and through COVID and through all the challenging times we've had. Uh, there's two guys who just spoke, uh, Kyle and Josh. Uh, you know, like they mentioned, they, they're, they're very professional with us right now at Missouri State, going to school, taking care of what they can on the field. And uh, they're going to be pros after after this year's over too, and, and at the next level. Uh, but all the guys just committed, driven, hungry, and the success that they've had is is the product of that. Um, you know, they deserve everything they've they've accomplished. And uh, the disappointing part from today is uh, we know we left something on the table. And uh, the good part is well, we're gonna we're gonna get back to it, and we're gonna get after it. And uh, in 2019, we left something on the table, and that was the conference tournament. And in 2021, we, we took care of it. Well, the national championship, we've left it on the table. We know we had more to do here, and uh, we're going to get to work chasing that goal. Yeah, and, and just to be able to talk, being able to talk about national championships. I mean, you're talking national championships at Missouri State, which would uh, uh, raise a few eyebrows. But it's amazing to just kind of hear how confident your guys are, and you bring it up there. But uh, of course, that's the goal, and uh, um, you guys have been able to show that you're among the best in the country. But just taking another step here in the fall, just to. Have, uh, having that confidence, how, how cool is that to have that here at Missouri State? Well, I think Missouri State's an unbelievable university, an unbelievable uh, education. And, uh, it's cost effective, which helps us recruit. It's unbelievable facilities. So why not? Uh, Akron was able to do it. Why can't Missouri State do it? So we look at it and there's, there's, there's in men's soccer, there are our peers and fellow universities that have shown that there's a pathway to that success. So why not go after it? But we don't talk about it as much as you hear us talk about because because you're the, the media. We don't talk about it that way. We we talk about it in the off season or before the season, but week to week we just talk about excellence, being the best team in the world, being the best we can be. And if you do that every day, uh, good things are going to happen. And the consistency of success and results from these guys. Soccer games are hard to win, right? There's ties, and and you know the amount of games ended up in draws. It, you know, you look at it, it's probably 30%. So to, to win as much as these guys have won shows their consistent excellence. And you keep doing that, and good things are going to happen. 
Coach, can you just talk a little bit about the match? Uh, the first half, you guys had a lot of opportunities early, and then um, the way the Huskies came and scored in that second half. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we played we played the way we wanted to play. Um, we, we probably could have been a little bit more aggressive in the, around the box and to create more goals when we were on top. And uh, that's something we've done consistently very well. I mean, this is only the second game this team's been shut out since 2018. So um, the Huskies, full credit to them. They made it difficult for us. They battled hard. And, uh, you know, I, I know we feel like we left a little bit on the table. Um, but, uh, you know, we did what we wanted to do, just maybe not well enough for long enough. And to have uh, some of those seniors coming back, um, that's just, uh, that's got to be really cool to have them an extra year when uh, uh, they're leading you guys. And I mean, you're talking about how they're going to be professionals here in the, at the end of the year, but just having them one more year, that's going to be awesome for it, it. It is, but I don't want to focus just on these seniors. The, the, every single one of our uh, student athletes uh, is, is a joy to work with. Uh, they're every bit as committed as, as these two seniors you just heard from. And uh, we've got freshmen that are playing and starting and, and contributing, sophomores, juniors on through, and then so many guys that uh, maybe not see the limelight every day, but if you look at guys that came off the bench and made massive differences. Will Osgothorpe in the first of the season when Jack Denton was injured, stepped up. Uh, John Coca obviously was just national player of the week because he scored two goals in, in the, the round of 32 in the second round. So I mean, you've got so many guys that have stepped up in big moments, Dawson Lee. So it's, it's exciting to have all these guys back. There's so much talent in the group. And, and, and as a coach, luckiest guy that you can imagine to get to work with them every day. Coach, quick turnaround for next season, I guess, coming up in August. Uh, how much would this help get uh, you guys in the right mindset to get going again in August? Well, we talked about it since, since really the, the, the fall, uh, that there would be six trophies on offer uh, in 2021. And so we've won two. We, we, we didn't get this one. Uh, but we got another shot at this one, but we got to start with the regular season, Missouri Valley. We got to start with a conference tournament, Missouri Valley. And uh, that's what we'll get to work on. And it is exciting because, you know, oftentimes you wait so long and this gives these guys with a break and then the fall, you know, nine or 10 months of soccer in a one year span, which I think is unbelievable for the development of the individuals and the team and this program.